we raise the machine up and then let it drop and that displaces a volume of water which creates our weight. So the height that we lift it and then drop it, we call that the stroke of the machine. We've done our modelling for the strength of the machine based on the largest stroke and the highest number of cycles that could possibly be, be completed over the lifespan of the machine. It's highly unlikely that anyone would ever manage to do all those cycles and probably not even a full stroke. So we're really confident that we've over, over engineered. In terms of maintenance, our machine is completely accessible without getting wet. You don't have to enter the water to inspect or maintain our machine. The structural items, you can inspect every single item without getting wet. And that's good, because if we're in the water, we just want to be safe. With the commercial machine, we duct the water vapour into a chamber which is below the water line of the lake. It is then released from there through attenuators into the air. The good thing about that is that most of the sound is released below the water line of the lake where you can't hear it. The remaining amount that comes out is very small. The prototype facility doesn't have a completely sealed lake floor, unlike the commercial facility, which allows us to draw off water, filter it, chlorinate it, and return it for crystal clear conditions all year round. Thank you.